everybody! Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently. I'm going to kind of do like a question and answer video series. A lot of you have been asking me to do this, so I kind of combined shout outs and video answering questions all in one. Many of you also suggested I should do this Ask Barbie series, so I'm doing it solely for you guys. I'm going to be answering questions on my Twitter. Um, all the links will be down below, and if you want to ask me a question on Twitter, um, just do the hashtag Ask Barbie. That's how I'll find the questions to add you on the Ask Barbie series. You can ask them on my Facebook page. I will now and again say, okay, you guys, um, Ask Barbie video series one is going to be up. What are your questions? And then I will look on that post to see questions and that's how I'll go off of those. And obviously, of course, YouTube. So on this video, down below, ask your questions and on the next series, I will answer them and so on. First, I'm gonna do the Twitter questions. Little Thing Six asks, do you like living in Canada? Would you ever move to the US? Ever thought about it? Random, I know, LOL, just curious. I do like living in Canada. I love it. Um, the weather kind of sucks, um, but I do love living in Canada. Yes, I have considered living in the United States. I actually, that's where I want to live. Once I have my career in check and everything like that, school and everything, more specifically California. I've been there twice and I like can't get enough of it. More specifically, Palm Springs. That's my favorite place. I really want to live there. O underscore Harry underscore Babes says, do you prefer Hollister or Jack Wills? I have never ever in my life heard of Jack Wills. I do not know what that is, but I do like Hollister, so I'm just gonna have to say Hollister. Rona Brooke Moore says, what is your number one fashion faux pas? Definitely when somebody is wearing something that they do not feel confident in or they didn't choose it themselves and they just don't like it or they're wearing it because of the current trend and they don't feel comfortable, they don't like it themselves. You gotta feel comfortable in what you're wearing. Avery Dance asks, um, when did you and your boyfriend Randy start dating? We'd start dating um, August 24th, 2006. We've been dating for um, a little bit longer than five years now. Liver Butt, I love your username, <laughs> says, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? Um, I really don't remember the exact age. I was around 12, 11, 12. I know it might sound a little bit early, but my best friend at the time, she started wearing makeup. She just started wearing um, eyeliner, that's it, just on her waterline, like the worst place to start wearing makeup in my opinion. Um, and I was like, oh, I love that. I love the look of that, it brightens up your eyes. After that, I just started only wearing eyeshadow, really, really light colors, like really light pinks and light purples, just eyeshadow. Labs underscore McFlurry, one of my good subbies, um, she says, who do you love more, Hello Kitty or Barbie? That's such an easy question, Barbie. I get that question a lot actually, and it's definitely Barbie. They're pretty close though. That's all my Twitter questions, now I'm going to do my Facebook, and I have tons of Facebook questions. So, T, he, he, <laughs> that's so hard to pronounce. Um, how did you get the nickname Barbie? I loved action figures, Spider-Man, Batman, um, Ninja Turtles, I loved them so much. Like. I was um, a tomboy action figure. I never wore pink, hated it. And I was about like 11 or 12, sort of like when I started wearing makeup. Mainly the age when children or girls start shying away from Barbies. I was getting into Barbies and loving it and like wearing tutus every day and like pink and sparkles and that's how I got the nickname Pink Sparkles and everyone was like, you know what, you're Barbie. Like, why, why do you keep playing Barbies? And then I got the nickname Barbie just because of that. I've been getting that nickname all since I was like 11 years old. That's been my nickname. Um, Ariana Ippolito, oh my god, I feel like I'm killing your guys' names. How have your life changed since you began YouTube videos? Definitely self-confidence. I've always had self-confidence, always, but this has like boosted it. Like when I first started doing YouTube videos, I was just talking, you know, and now I'm like, woo! Alexa May says, currently how old and how tall are you? I'm 21 right now and I'm 4'9". Prudy Dave says, how was your trip to Edmonton? It was so, so good. I loved it. Um, Riley Barber says, what did your family have to say about your piercings and tattoos? Actually, whenever I get a piercing, my mom gets one with me. So, I mean, ever since I got my first piercing, me and my mom usually go and get, not the same, sometimes the same, but we'll both get piercings together. And tattoos, you know, my dad is not a tattoo or piercing person, so he just says, you know, you know, if you if you like it, if you're gonna do it, then go for it. But he's not gonna. He doesn't like looking at them or anything like that. But my dad, you know, he's okay with it if I'm okay with it. And my mom, she's like all for it. Windy Tan says, "Are Dollarama makeup safe? And did you ever try them?" I'm not sure if Dollarama makeup is safe. I'm assuming it is, just because it's on the shelves. But um, yes, I have tried Dollarama makeup. I do not like it at all. Shelby Holman says, "What's your favorite nail polish?" 
And what's your least favorite clothing store? My favorite nail polish is uh, for Audrey from China Glaze. Love it. Least favorite clothing store. I think it would have to be Blue Notes. Whenever I go in there and I'm like, oh, so bored. Uh, I've answered all these already. Uh, Christina Nicole Ryder says, what's your favorite brand? Juicy Couture. Love it. McKenna Ray Foster says, have you lived in the house you live in now your whole life? No. My family is like notorious for living in so many different houses. I've lived in like probably eight different houses my whole life. Ariana Cat Rouse, Rouse? I'm sorry for butchering your guys' names, I feel bad. Anyways, she says, um, are you from the US or Canada? I'm definitely from Canada. Oh, Canada! Angie Hedden says, lol, I can answer half of these for you guys. True subby right there. Um, but here's one, since you're legal, how often do you have a drink? Um, Actually, 21 is legal in the States and some other countries, but in Canada, where I live, it's only 19, so actually I've been legal for a few years now. I don't like drinking. I hate it. I hate the taste of alcohol. Like, it makes me puke. I don't like the feeling of drinking or being drunk. I'm happy all on my own. I do not like the taste of alcohol, but even when we go out to eat, you know, sometimes my dad, like, it's a, it's a special occasion, like, do you want to drink? I was like, ew, no, ruin my meal. Like, honestly, like, I'm being honest, like, I do not like the taste of alcohol. My mom, that's where I get it from. She's the exact same way. She hates alcohol. She hates the taste of it. So, pretty well never. I never, ever have a drink. Alexandra Dage, D Daigle? says, would you ever come to Montreal for a meet and greet? I would love to, I've never been to Montreal. Um, it's probably really expensive for me to fly there, but I would love to if I had the money for it and the time. Nikita Lazarus says, do you have any Hello Kitty pajamas or clothes and will you be doing more nail tutorials in the future? Yes, I have um, Hello Kitty clothes. Um, you can see that in my Hello Kitty collection um, and I will definitely be doing more nail tutorials. Dina Back Tier says, what's your favorite Barbie pink lipstick color? St. Germain by MAC. Stephanie Chappell says, what's your favorite makeup brand? Um, I have two. Um, NYX and MAC are like my top two. Jessica Marie says, if you had to choose between being deaf or blind, which one would you choose and why? I would choose um, to be deaf. I think. I had a deaf cat once and she operated pretty well. So I think I would choose being deaf. You know, I like to see the colors around me. I love colorful things and I'm not too keen on hearing hearing people chirp in my ear. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I would definitely choose being deaf. Um, Mia Lily Battle Welch says, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, why did you decide to dye your hair blonde? Um, I was Brun I had my hair all different colors growing up. I've had my hair like purple, burgundy, auburn, black, blue, gray. I've had like every single color in my hair. And um, basically it's always been like kind of darker, like browns and blacks and stuff like that. And about like a year and a half ago, I was like, you know what, I should go blonde. Like, you know, I, it suits my personality, um, not for the bad reasons, for the good reasons. And you know, I just wanted blonde for a change. So that's why I decided. Monica Daisy Mano, this is a good question, says, do you regret any of your tattoos? I don't regret uh, any tattoos in my life just because if you plan to do something, like I planned this tattoo, I paid for it, I sat in the chair, you know, I went through the pain, so you shouldn't regret any tattoos unless you were like drunk or something, but no, I do not regret any of them. Casey Whitley says, how many pairs of shoes do you own? I have no idea. Ashley Nicole Harrell says, what's your favorite place to get clothes? I have two, Value Village and um, Forever 21. I've answered all these questions. Taylor Burton says, what is your favorite type of hair straightener? My Chi, I love it. This one's a hard name to pronounce. Um, Iwa Wiriok. That's probably not even your name, right? Like, I'm horrible at that. What made you start doing YouTube videos? I had a hairstyle that I wanted to show. You can scroll down to my very first video. Um, I think it, I don't even remember exactly what it was, but I really wanted to have a hairstyle on YouTube so that I wouldn't forget it. And then people actually were viewing it and saying like, can you make more videos? And I was not expecting that. I kind of just wanted to keep it on YouTube so I wouldn't forget how to do the hairstyle. Chloe Plifka says, what high school, what was high school like for you? High school was actually pretty good. I was a person who hung out with everybody in high school. I didn't, I didn't stick to the cliques or anything like that. I was friends with everybody. Um, it was actually pretty good. I mean, there was the times when you did get, I got bullied, um, not too much by like one specific girl, but, <laughs> um, you know, I stuck through it and high school was pretty good. Dana Swallow says, what trend do you like right now? Um, I don't really follow trends too much unless they're like, 
out there so hard that you can't avoid them. I kind of just do what I like. But the trend, I don't really know. Um, I have no idea. Feathers? I love feathers. I guess that's a hot trend right now. Karen Fenwick says, my question is, do you and your boyfriend live together or do, you, or do you still live at home? Me and my boyfriend do not live together and yes, I still live at home. I'm living at home because I'm getting my education together and stuff like that. Ivy Kao says, how did you get your mom to wear makeup? I definitely did not get my mom to wear makeup. She has been wearing makeup all her life. She loves makeup. She kind of was a second influence on me wearing makeup because she always had like the best eyeshadow colors on and she was kind of like my inspiration. People are probably going to hate me for this one, but I'm a realist. I'm going to answer it. Um, Brianna Honest go says what religion are you and do you believe in Jesus um I am no religion um I have never been to church I mean that kind of mainly is how I was brought up um my mom is religious I don't really know exactly I'm not really too big on knowing what religions are just because of how I was brought up but my dad basically does not believe in any of it and my mom believes in all of it like she's very real not very religious but she believes in god she believes in jesus she went to church all her life i don't remember exactly what religion she was but seeing as how me and my brother um were born into a family that person does not believe in church or jesus or anything and somebody who really does um we kind of never really had a religion instilled in us my dad and my mom both told me and my brother our whole lives to believe in what we want to believe in, choose a religion we want. So I do believe in Jesus, however. I do. I do believe in God, the Bible, Jesus, the whole thing. I, I do believe. I believe there's a heaven, a hell, spirits, demons, um, angels. I believe in it all. Um, however, I don't really have a religion. Um, most of you are probably maybe going to get mad at me for that, but really that hasn't really been my fault. I mean, I do... Kind of, I really do want to start going to church. Um, I don't know anything about religion, but I do believe in God. Emily Barlow says, do you, um, do you use any type of hair rollers? No. Avery Spaulding says, how close are you and your boyfriend? We are very close. Haley George says, what got you into beauty stuff, makeup, hair, clothes, accessories? Because I'm pretty sure you said you were a, in one of your videos, you were a tomboy growing up. I definitely, definitely was a tomboy. I honestly don't even know what got me into um, hair, beauty, and makeup. I think it might have been my best friend, like I was saying earlier. She really did, um, kind of, you know, she loved the girly things, and then I did, and it kind of just, like, exploded from there, and I was like, boom, girly girl! Megan Burka, another subscriber that I recognize just from her name. What's the scariest thing that has ever happened to you? Um, uh, me and my mom and my brother, my brother and my boyfriend were actually seriously, um, had a ghost living in our hotel room in Toronto. I'm going to do a video all about that, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Argentina Tate says, have you ever went to a concert and which one? Yes, I have. Um, I've went to lots of concerts. I've been to Avril Lavigne. I've been to Headley three times. Theory of a Dead Man. Blink-182, Fall Out Boy. My favorite concert. I went to G-Unit. Oh my god, that was my favorite concert. Jesse Watson, this is actually kind of funny, says, do you love Stephanie Chappell? And I'm like, who is that? And I look down, and you can see Stephanie Chappell says, Jesse. So yes, I do love you, girl. <laughs> Tiana Cotier says, can you do a brother and sister tag? I get that question a lot. Um, I don't think my brother will, but I will convince him one day. I will bribe him. Cheyenne Marie says, a question that I always get asked. How do you stay skinny and healthy? I don't believe I'm skinny. I believe that I'm healthy. Um, I eat lots of fruits and vegetables during my days. I eat healthy six days out of the week and I give myself one freebie day to eat whatever I like sort of to stay you know not just eating healthy all the time it kind of gives me variety Claire Geeky says do you sport the Canadian brand Lululemon I love it I wanted to know if you wore it yes I used to love Lululemon a few years ago and then it's it's kind of expensive to me so I usually bought it at Value Village for really cheap but I do I love their pants I'm not too into their sweatshirts but I love their pants Cindy Rivas says, do you plan on getting more tattoos? And have you ever had bad moments in your life? You seem so happy all the time. I've actually had a lot of bad things happen to me during my life, and it's kind of made me happier and a better person just to not forget the past, but sort of move on from it and be a happy person because life's too short to be um, stuck in the ruts of the bad world. And yes, I do plan on getting lots more tattoos. Nancy Hernandez, how many boyfriends have you had in your past? I've only had three boyfriends in my whole life. Carolina, you 
Savichutukla. I don't know how to say that. What are your top five beauty products? Or what's your number one beauty product that you must have? Lipstick. I love lipstick. Brianna Romero says, how do you get your nail polish so perfect? It's not. Like, I promise you, it's not perfect. Um, if it does seem perfect to you, um, I practice a lot my nail polish. I practice a lot. My Kayla Pritchett says, is your mother going to have her own cooking channel? Please say yes, even if you were joking. Yes, she does have her own cooking channel. I'll put it in the description box down below. So Erica Marie, if pink didn't exist, what would your favorite color be? Huh, I don't know. Like a really, really, really light baby blue. I Melissa Duffy says, which of your tattoos and piercings is your favorite? My Hello Kitty. Right there, I did a video all about it. I love her. Alex Alita uh, Mendez um, says, please answer, how long have you had your pink highlights? Um, I've had it for a really long time, since I was about 15. Courtney Kapler says, what's your favorite kind of pie? Is it pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie is mine. Yes, it is. I love pumpkin pie. Brittany Sellers says, what's your dog's name? Cooper. Monica Wolf says, what's your favorite animal? I love all animals. Lillian Baker Moss says, if you could be any animal you want, what would it be? I really want to know. I don't know. I think I would be... Something like a turtle, so I could live a really, really long time. However, I hate the ocean-y type things or seas, so I, that wouldn't work out too well. Francely Sanchez Pinali says, what's your favorite season of the year? Summer! So I answered all your guys' questions, and now it's getting dark outside. I hope this isn't a really long video. Um, I didn't answer all the repeats. Um, there were a lot of repeats, but that's all of them. So in the bottom of this video, get your questions in for next time. Hashtag Ask Barbie and wait for my Facebook post to ask more on my Facebook. So any suggestions? Should I do anything in a different way? Um, thank you guys for watching.